Four days ago, our Navy family suffered an horrific attack at the Washington Navy Yard. We mourn the loss of these patriots, even as the Navy Yard resumes partial operations today. I had a chance to meet with some of those NAVC employees today, along with some of the first responders and the FBI and NCIS agents still on the scene. I heard heartbreaking stories of that day, stories of great sacrifice and great bravery, and a few people even shared their favorite memories of those we've lost. Our thoughts and our prayers remain with those struggling with the loss of their loved one. They too are part of the Navy family and we will, as families do, care for them in this time of great need. The last two days, I've announced a number of measures and resources available to those impacted by Monday's tragedy. Today, I would like to announce an additional measure. It's my intention that those affected by Monday's tragedy will have legal assistance available to them in order to navigate some of the very complicated and often difficult choices they may need to make. These legal services will be available to the gunshot victims of the shooting at the Washington Navy Yard, to their immediate family or surviving spouses and children. Our legal representatives will ensure that they are able to take advantage of resources to help with some of their most immediate and pressing concerns, for example, funeral cost. These services will be available for the next 30 days, but they may be extended if we need to. Further details are going to follow, but I want to take this opportunity to assure those grieving a lost family member that we will do everything we can to help ease their minds during these difficult days. As I've said, we in the Navy and Marine Corps, uniformed and civilian, are one team and one family, and we will take care of our family.